All right, folks, we have here one of a kind. This is the Permobil M5. M5 means mid-wheel drive, and the 5 is the higher, the higher quality power chair. So this is the M5 Permobil. This Permobil is very hard to find. You hardly ever see them anywhere uh, because it's very expensive, and also uh, there's just not any, any other to be found in this shape right here. So the M5 has a couple different things. It goes seven and a half miles an hour. So it has high speed motors, seven and a half miles an hour. And the seat lift goes up to 14 inches, not 12, but 14 inches high. And it has a top speed of seven and a half miles. Now, these are the two things that most chairs don't have, okay? Now this chair has four function. It has the 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. It has all kinds of other goodies on here, which I'll cover as we go along. All the functions on this chair to work the seat can be worked through the joystick or through the switch box right here. I like to use the switch box, it's quicker for me. The first button on the switch box, if I push on it, is your seat lift. As you can see, the seat is starting to go up. You're gonna start roughly at 22 inches. And if you add your 14 inches, you'll be a total of 36 inches high. Okay, so you'll definitely be eye level with someone. And the nice thing about this, once the seat is elevated all the way to the top, as you can see right here, we should be at 36 inches here, right there. You can still drive the chair at a good speed with the seat elevated, which I'll show you outside in the video outside. But if we look at the base right here, you can see this is a gorgeous power chair. <clears throat> we have 14 inch solid tires right here that are not gonna mark your floor. 8 inch caster wheels in the front, 8 inch caster wheels in the back, 8 inch caster wheel in the front. You have an anchor point here and you have another one inside here. This is where you secure your chair if you're going to transport this chair. Remember this chair weighs at least 450 pounds, okay? This chair is 450 pound weight, so it's a heavy chair. This chair also has suspension back here which you can't see, but if I push down you'll see the fork move. You'll see the fork well, you can see if I raise it up, you can see how the suspension works, okay? You can see the front also, the front suspension, okay? You have two motors on here, on this chair. Let me turn the chair around so you can see the motors. The, the motors are right here, folks. These are, your, these are the front of the motors. The motors go this way all the way up to the wheel. The direct drive motors right to the wheel. If I want to push this chair, well, it's in gear, so I'm not going to be able to push it. I'm not going to lift it. It's 450 pounds. But if I turn the power off, and the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in the motor. Power off. You see this little lever right here on top? You got your reflector. You have a little handle right here. If you push the handle inward, what that does, it unlocks, it unlocks the wheel. See that? You got to do both motors, then you can roll it straight. Okay? When you're done with both motors, make sure you put it back in gear. So on the M3, M5, this is where your levers are for your neutral. So you need to remember that you might have, you might have to use this one day, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the power back on. We're going to give it a second to reset. There we go. We're going to put the chair back here. And you can see the armature for the seat lift right here. The, uh, the actuator is right here for the seat lift. Um, what else can I show you? Pretty much it right there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the seat lift back down. While the seat's going down, let me talk about the swing away joystick. So if you want to get close to a dining table, look how much closer you can get. I just took away about nine inches here. This is called a swing away. If you're left-handed, we can put the swing away on the left side. This is really good also when you leave the chair, you're not pushing on the joystick, you can push off the arms. This chair has, actually has push bars, so when you leave the chair, you can actually use these right here to push off. That's what these are for, these are push bars. There's one on each side. The next feature we're going to show is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here that I'm touching goes back. When that base goes back, it takes the leg and the back because they're all connected. This is good if you want to have Take pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. You want to have circulation in your legs, or you just want to relax. This is called the electric tilt right here. The next function I'm going to do is I'll call the electric legs. Remember, these chairs are fully adjustable. So if you're 100 pounds or you're 300 pounds, we can adjust the seat, the legs, the length. We can do all that for you. 
but I want to show you how high you can get your legs up. Look at this, folks. Of course, if you're sitting in the chair, if you're sitting in the chair, this would stay here, okay? But look, if we only go halfway tilted, if I bring the seat down halfway, right here, your feet are still higher than your body. Notice that? So you don't have to be tilted all the way back to get good circulation in your legs. All right, we've done two functions so far. The next one we're going to do, uh, we've done three. We've done the seat lift, we've done the tilt, and we've just done the legs. And now we're going to do the recline. The recline is when the back right here, just this part goes back. Nothing else is moving. This is called recline, going back. So I want to see how far this is going to go. By the way, this chair only has 13 miles. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the, the, the video. 13 miles on this chair, folks. So look at this. This is your, and notice how the arms flip up. So if you transfer from the side, you can remove this right here, and you can transfer from the side. If, you're, if you have a sliding board, if you come in from the side, you can definitely do it on this chair. Put this back in there. And you see how the arms flip up? This is your laying down position. So I'm going to bring the back back up. I'm going to bring the legs back down at the same time. Notice the legs are going down. The back is coming back up. If you want to do two functions at once that are holding two buttons like I'm doing, you can do it through the joystick with one button. When you're outside, leave those legs out a little bit. Just about like that. Give you a little more clearance. If you need more clearance, let me just finish this right here. Put it back to driving position. If you need more clearance outside, and you have long legs and we have to put the foot plates lower you can always tilt the seat back a little bit so if I tilt the seat watch right here watch just tilt it up a little bit one inch or two and it take give you four or five inches over there okay I'm gonna leave it like that for now all right let's look at the seat on this chair but well, first of all let me bring the legs in I want to show you how well this chair turns in your house so if you're in the house you're gonna to want to have the legs all the way in to get the best turning radius so we have the legs all the way in look at this folks so if you're in your house I can't even hear this chair it's so quiet you can turn this chair in its own length I can stand here all day long and turn this chair right there in this spot right here okay I'm gonna bring the legs back out All right, the cushion right now in this chair is 20 by 20, okay? This is a foam here, and right here is air bubbles. There's, you can put air in this cushion with a little plastic pump. There's a valve back here. You can't see it in the video. Maybe I can show There's a valve right here, and we can just hook up a pump, and we can pump air back here. This is foam contoured. This is a really nice cushion. Uh, you have flip-up arm, like I mentioned earlier, swing-away joystick. You have push bars here. You have lateral pads right here. What these do, if you have a tendency to slide to one side or the other, it keeps you in the middle. Some people only put one, some people put two. If you don't need them, we can take them right off. They just slide right off, okay? So they're on here now in case you need them. You have a, you have a, a deluxe safety belt. You notice see how wide that is? It's not a, a narrow belt like this. It's got the pad on it. You've got um, also on this chair, You've got headlights and tail lights. So these are real lights. These are factory lights. Oh, look at that. Look at those lights in front. And look at the lights in the back. You also have hazards, as you can see. You have left flashers, I think. Yep. And you have right flashers. Fully equipped lights on this chair. Also on this chair, eh, let me leave it this way. Back here, you've got what's called the tenon control, okay? I can drive this chair from here if I wanted to, and the only thing I have to do if I want to drive it from here, I just hit the button here, there's a picture of a person behind the chair, so switch it over, and when I do that, this one here becomes obsolete, you can't drive there anymore, and here, now I can drive the chair from here, okay? I can do, also from here, I can do the tilting, everything, 
Everything I can do there, I can do with this little joystick here. If you don't need this, you can put it down like this. If I can just drop it down, you can drop it out of the way. Or you can just completely take it off. It disconnects right here with this cable right here. You can just completely take it off. You also have push bars on this seat, on this chair. I told you this chair had a lot of stuff. You see the bar right here? So if you had to roll this chair instead of pushing on the seat right here like this, which is, you know, that's see how it moves a little bit. But on the push bars, uh, it's a lot easier to move the chair around the house if you had to move the chair. So you have push bars and you have uh, push bars in front, grab bars in the front. They're called, these are called grab bars and these are called push bars. My bad. You have a headrest that's fully adjustable. Okay, so you can adjust this header at any position you want. It's all adjustable. Okay, so now, well, I got to switch it back. Sorry, my bad. So I'm going to switch it back to here. And now we're back here. Okay, this is a back cushion. This is a breathable cushion. You're not going to sweat on this cushion here. But folks, let me, again, I'm going to remind you, this chair is 13 miles, practically brand new. Use maybe a month. If you're 150 pounds instead of 280 pounds, we can put smaller cushion, we can bring the frame in, we can change the back cushion, we can do, these chairs are adjustable, these seats, okay? We have all the parts here for that. So just let us know your height and weight and we can do all that. You also have two bags on each side for your glasses, your cell phone. You have one on each side, permobile bag, they're already added to here. We're gonna turn the lights off because we don't need those anymore. Uh, I think I've covered everything on the chair. When you charge this chair, I'm gonna use this charger for example. This may not be the charger, but this works. You plug the chargers right below the joystick right there, and as soon as the lights go to green or full, the charger will stop charging. All right, let's, let's recap on this chair. This is a Permobil M5. The one of the top power chairs with the speed and everything else. This Permeal M5 has 13 miles. It has the 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. It has the full lighting package on the chair. It has solid tires all the way around. It has the anchor point. It has the swing away joystick. It has the flip up arms. It has the two, uh, the two bags, the lateral chest guard, the grab bars, the large update, uh, upgraded safety belt. It has the fully adjustable headrest. It has the push bars in the back. It has the attendant control. This chair, folks, is a top quality chair, highest quality, but it's a permobile. It's the highest quality you can get. So if you're looking for a power chair that nobody else really has, this would be one of them to look at. This is a fantastic power chair as you will see in the video when we're outside. So that's what seven and a half miles an hour looks like. It takes off and it takes a few feet, but look at that, this is seven and a half right now. You can get from A to B really fast at seven and a half miles an hour. So if you need a chair to cross the highway, well, I wouldn't say the highway, uh, at an intersection and you want to get from one side to the other when the light turns green you're not gonna have any problem I would definitely carry a flag behind you so people can see you but when you stop this chair as you notice within a couple feet it comes to a halt and it's in gear and it's it's locked meaning I can't go anywhere even though it's still on so if you were to stop this chair going downhill or uphill it would stay right there in the position you're at The noise you hear on the ground is all these acorns over here that I keep popping with my wheels. There's a bunch of acorns here on the ground. That chair goes full speed in the grass and not on the grass. So if you're going to go in the grass, make sure your grass, your, your yard has a good bottom. No sandy or mushy bottom. You should be fine. I'm going to raise the seat up right now so you can see the seat going up. And I'm going to drive this chair with the seat elevated. 
If you're going to drive the chair with a seat elevator, folks, please, on nice, flat surface. No cracked sidewalks, no bumpy. Uh, I mean, you can, but it's at your own risk. Uh, these are expensive chairs. They're very nice chairs, though. And this chair is 13 miles. So here we go. We're going to turn around and see how fast we go with the seat elevated. All right, 3.3 miles an hour. So with the seat elevated, this chair will drive at 3.3 miles an hour. Walking speed is about two, two and a half. Uh, once you bring the seat all the way back down, then it'll go seven and a half miles an hour. If you have the seat elevated at all, it, you'll lose speed. So if you want your seven and a half miles an hour, you have to have the seat all the way down, okay? There's sensors on these chairs for your safety. This chair is fully loaded. It has the lateral guard, lateral guards. You have the grab bars, the push bars back here, the attendant control, the swing away joystick, the custom seat belt, the bags, uh, the, the, the full light kit, the suspension. Folk, this is M5, which is, there's not too many of these around. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.